procedure with this particular valve has been started in 2004. There is another type of valve which has been done two years prior to that. But with this particular core valve system, we started our experience in 2004 and there, until now more than 3,500 valves have been implanted uh, altogether. What it tells us is that this procedure is feasible, is doable, with good initial and intermediate results. With a follow-up of five years, we can say that we have good results intermediate, uh, intermediately. We're looking, of course, for long-term results, but the percutaneous technique offers a less dangerous, less risky procedure as regular open-heart surgery. We are actually not replacing the valve. We are, by means of a catheter, entering the groin of a patient. And then we advance the prosthesis into the original annulus of the patient, of the aortic annulus of the patient. And then we deploy the prosthesis with the valve, pushing the old valve on the side and so we get rid of the obstruction and have normal flow from the left heart into the body. Are there differences between the, the different valves? Um, there are differences, yes. The other valve, the so-called Edwards Sapien valve, is a valve that has to be pressed into the original annulus by means of a balloon and the valve that we are implanting today is a so-called self-expanding device which means you, are, you place this valve in the annulus and then you pull the sheath back and the valve expands automatically into the annulus. So one is balloon expandable, the other one is self-expanding.